Hi and welcome to another episode of Matt Makes, the show where I make things. Today we're making a toy truck. The timber we're using for this project is 90 by 35 millimeter pine and this particular piece is 1165 millimeters long. Now the reason for that odd length is that's exactly the same length as an Australian standard pallet. So you could use a pallet stringer for, for this project, but instead I'm just going to use a bit of pine because I didn't have a pallet lying around. There's a bunch of different ways for making wheels, but all the ones that I know start with one of these. So this is a hole saw. This particular one is 70 millimeters and that allows us to get a nice cylinder of wood which we can either use as a wheel straight away or as you'll see later we're going to dress it up a bit using the lathe. With a bit of cleaning up, something like that would actually make a really good wheel for a truck. But, we're going to clean them up on the lathe and make them look a little bit fancier. So our wheels have come off the lathe, but as you can see, they're a bit rough. Uh, we are using pine here and pine doesn't turn particularly well into softwood with a really open grain structure. But that's okay, because we can sand them down. Now you could do that by hand, but I've got this attachment which goes on my drill, so I'm gonna use that and it'll make things a bit faster for me. So this might look like overkill, but it's the best way to protect yourself from dust if you've got a beard. Much better.
Here's our truck mounted upside down in the bench. And you'll see that I've used slots rather than holes for mounting the axles. And that's so that our axles can sit in there, but they can also move up and down a little bit and also side to side. And that means that I can put in some of this foam and we can make some springs for our axles and have suspension on our wooden toy truck. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that build as much as I did and it's inspired you to make your own wooden toys. If you do make one of these, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear if these videos are having an effect. And as always, click those like and subscribe buttons if you want to see more of Matt making stuff. I'm Matt and thanks for watching.